Hi, my name is Carla Holt, and I'm going to show you the guided access feature available on an iOS device like an iPad or an iPod. To enable the guided access, we need to go into our Settings app. So I'll just open up the Settings. Again, I'll click on General down the side, and I'm going to scroll all the way down until I can see Accessibility. And then I'll click on Accessibility. And here what I'm going to do is under learning. And again, this is only in iOS 6. So if you have iOS 5 or earlier, you will not see this guided access feature under learning. So I click on guided access. I turn it on. And then what it tells me what I can do is I need to, to start it, I need to triple click the home button in the app I want to use. I can set a passcode so that if I want um, students to be able to say leave that app or um, access the other features in that app, they would have to have the passcode. So if I say set passcode, I can put one in, retype it, and then now I can go to my app and open it up. All right, so let's say that I'm here and um, I want to start up the guided access so that either um, so children can't click on these advertisements at the bottom. So what I have to do is I have to triple clip on the home button and you can now see that it says guided access. So what it says is circle areas of the screen you want to disable. So if I want to disable this area down here where the ads are, I can kind of draw a little circle stretch it out. If you, you know, you're not happy with it, there's an X and you can redraw the, um, the area again and just stretch it to the size that you want it. That will suit. Um, and then when you're finished that, you can click start. And now here it tells me guided access has started. So I can still be flipping through my program using it as needed. But if I try to click on these advertisements, nothing is happening. If I try to leave this and I hit my home button, it gives me a message saying guided access is enabled. So I cannot leave the app, I'm st stuck in it. Um, if I triple click on it, then I get the prompted with the passcode, which I can put in, and then it allows me to end guided access. And then I can go back to my iPad being as normal. This tutorial looked at using the guided access feature to lock into a singular app and to disable parts of the iPad screen.